Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In this tutorial, I'm gonna be teaching you guys the long-awaited song, Nightmare by Boy With You. So this song was suggested by a bunch of you guys. I apologize for getting this out so late because I was supposed to get it out, honestly, like a few weeks ago now. So yeah, without wasting any more time, let's jump into it. So first of all, I'm gonna be jumping into the chords. So our first chord is gonna be our G major seven. And also a heads up, for all our chords, we're not using the top string at all, so that G string, we're basically ignoring it. So we're only playing these bottom three strings. So this G7 is gonna be barring the seventh fret. So again, ignoring that top string. So barring those bottom three strings. Then we're adding our ring finger to the ninth fret of the fourth string there. And all together, that's our G major seven. Moving on to our next chord, we have our E minor seven, which is very similar to our G major seven, where we're just lifting off that ring finger, so we're just barring that seventh fret with our index finger. So that's our E minor seven. Moving on to our next chord, we have our G flat minor seven. So for this one, we're placing our index finger on the fifth fret of the third string there. Next, our middle finger is going on the sixth fret of the second string, just there. And lastly, our ring finger is gonna be going on the seventh fret of the fourth string, there. And all together, that's our G flat minor seven. And for our final chord, we have our B, where we're gonna be barring the sixth fret now, like that, to the bottom three strings once again. And lastly, adding our middle finger onto the seventh fret of the third string. And all together, that's our B. And there are all the chords, so running through those one more time, we have our G major seven, to our E minor seven, to our G flat minor seven, and lastly, our B. And that's all you need for the course, so now let's jump into the more trickier part, the plucking. Okay, so now for the plucking, we're going to be implementing those chords and playing a plucking pattern. So this does get a little bit tricky, but you'll get used to it once you get familiar with the chords, switching between the chords. And there's just additional notes you have to add on top of those chords. So starting off, we're going to be using our G major 7. So this chord here, and for the first part, our plucking is going to be using our thumb, our index, and our middle finger. So our thumb's going to be used for the second string, and then our index, our third, and middle finger, our fourth. So we're going, we're doing this two times through first, so we're going one, two, three, four, two, three, four, like that. And then we're playing the two, three, and not the fourth that third time. So we're going like that. So all together we have. Just like that. So now for the second part, I'm gonna be moving to our E minor seven shape. So it's basically what we had before, like our G major seven. So we're just lifting off that ring finger and the plucking is gonna go a little bit similar to our first part. However, we're gonna be adding on an extra note. So we're gonna be going E minor seven. We're going two, three, four, like that. Then we're going two, three. And now for our fourth string, we're playing that 12th fret. So I'm placing my pinky finger on the 12th fret there, like that, and playing that fourth string. And that's going to be followed by another two, three normally, so like that. So all together for that second part, we have two, three, four, two, three, four, two, three, like that. So now moving on to the third part, that's going to be following up on the last bar. So we're going to have what we had before, so we're still doing that E minor seven shape. 
And we're still going to have our pinky on the 12th fret there, on the 4th string. So the first note of this part is again our 12th fret 4th string. Like that. Now if we play that note, we lift our pinky off. And now we're back to our G major 7. So now we'll be playing our 2 and 4 strings. So we're going 2, 4. Like that. Then it's going to be followed by two, three, four, and then two, three. Like that. So playing that again. So after, right after we play that pinky 12th fret, we go to our G major 7. So we go 12, and then back to our G major 7. Like that. So all together for that part, again, we have... Like that. Okay, so now moving on to the fourth part, we're going to be playing our E minor 7 now. And the plucking is pretty much going to be similar to the last few parts. So we're going to be playing 2, 3, 4. Like that. And we're doing that again. 2, 3, 4. And now, after we play that two times through, we're placing our index finger on the fifth fret of the fourth string there. Like that. And then we're starting at one fret down to our fourth string. Sorry, our fourth fret, fourth string. Like that. So all together we have Like that. So now I'm gonna put all four parts together just so you can get an idea on what it sounds like. So we're going. Like that. Okay, so so far we're halfway there, so we have another four parts to go. I know it does seem a little bit tricky, but with a bit of practice, you'll be good in no time. So now, we're going to be moving to our G flat minor 7 shape. So this is this shape here. And our plucking is going to go similarly to the last four parts. So we're going... Two, three, four, two, three, four, two, three. So that's the exact same as the first part actually, but just with the different chords. So again, two, three, four, two, three, four, two, three. And now for our sixth part, which is pretty much the same as the previous, but just with a different note that second time through. So we're gonna be going again with that G flat minor seven shape. We're going two, three, four, two, three. Now for that third string. Now we're placing our pinky on the ninth fret for that fourth string. Like that. And then playing another two, three. So again, we have Like that. So that's our sixth part. So now for our seventh part, we move to our B chord, like that. And that plucking again is very similar to the previous part. So we're going two, three, four, two, three, four, two, three, like that. So. like that. And our final part is really similar to what we just played, but instead, we're just going to be adding our ring finger onto the ninth fret there. So we're going two, three, four, two, three, four, two, three. And that's our final part. So that's all we need to learn. So now I'm going to put that second entire part all together. So we're starting from that G, G flat minor seven.
like that. So now combining everything we've learnt in those two sections, it should sound like this. Like that, and that just repeats. So yeah, that's pretty much all there is for Nightmare. So once again, if once you get used to those chords and the plucking, you can pick up the pace. Again, I'm still not pretty good with this song. It is a hard one, so do take your time with it. But yeah, so I'll try to go a bit quicker for you guys. So we're going. Stop there. <laughs> and repeats. And yeah, that's all. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you found it a little bit helpful, be sure to drop a like and subscribe. And once again, if you guys have any more song suggestions, be sure to drop them in the comments below. But yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one.